Hi, I want to talk about diaphragmatic breathing. Incorrect breathing puts a substantial amount of stress within our body. Proper breathing increases endorphin levels and kephalons, which are the natural opiates secreted from the brain that allows our muscles and our body to relax, as well as giving us this happy, happy feeling within our lives. Incorrect breathing only attributes more to adrenaline response, the fight or flight. It increases muscle contraction, raises blood pressure, causes increased heart rate, as well as dizziness, fatigueness, and poor digestion. I'd like you to do a little test with me. Take one hand on the chest, the other hand on the belly. And I want you to breathe normally, and I want you to feel which is moving more. If your chest is moving more, that's the problem because you're not working from the diaphragm. You're utilizing extra muscles that you should not be using. The key muscle is the scalenus muscle. The scalenus muscle attaches to the outside transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae and goes and attaches to the first and second ribs. So if you're breathing more from your chest, you are more that anxious person. You're more that kind of person that has a hard time relaxing. You're utilizing the extra muscles of the scalenus muscles. And these muscles is what's causing a lot of your pain in your neck, shoulder, arm, chest, or between the shoulder blades. You have the brachial plexus that runs between the scalenus muscles. And if this muscle is contracting down along that plexus, you can be getting a significant amount of referred pain to those involved areas. So, Make it a part of your life to start focusing on the abdominal area. When you breathe in through the nose and you let it out, focus on utilizing the muscles within the diaphragm rather than those chest muscles. Practice that. Over time, it will become a part of you. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.